Listen, there are certain fears that lead us to choose to tenaciously pursue a life of success. For most, it is the fear of living like a failure, the fear of never having enough, or some other kind of fear. For me, it used to be the fear of laziness. I will explain it. When I was growing up, I used to do almost nothing in the house because I had siblings whom my parents would force to do them for me. I wasn't the first child, but I was treated like a favorite, and thank God I didn't grow up spoiled as a result. But I learned to not work really hard because I always had what I wanted. As life started to happen to me, I knew I had to change. So, each time I remembered that a life of poverty was inevitable if a man was lazy, I told myself I would never be lazy. I work more than I am supposed to because I don't ever want to go to my grave knowing I could have done so much but didn't do it. Laziness kills, and as young people, we are almost prone to it because we feel we have all the time in this world. Well, newsflash, you don't. You don't have all the time in the world. Very soon, you will grow older and you will be reaping the fruits of the seeds you had sown when you were younger. What fruits will that be? That is up to you. In today's video, I will share some lessons with you that I wish I knew about laziness when I was much younger. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel. 1. We often miss opportunity because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. Thomas A. Edison This is one of the great downsides of laziness. A lazy man will always miss opportunities. Years ago in my life, I got a project that landed me one of the highest paychecks I had ever received in my life. I could have continued my contract with that client except that I blew that contract with some lazy act on my part. Today, I know better. Every great success can be tied to some act of taking advantage of an opportunity. And that opportunity will always come with work. Most people would wish for free money. But I have learned long ago that there is no free money anywhere. Someone worked for the so-called free money. The hard work you do not learn now will eventually make you throw up opportunities that should come to you. Most times, it isn't just about doing the work now. The result of hard work is naturally more work. And the result of laziness is naturally no work. 2. Inspiration is a guest that does not willingly visit the lazy. I am a fan of going after inspiration with a club. For so many months, I always wanted to write daily, but found I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Until I read an article by author Jeff Goins that actually described successful writers don't wait for inspiration before they write. They go after it with a club. Since then, I hardly wait to be inspired before I write. I wrote the scripts for this video and two other videos at the time when I was struggling with a befuddling headache. Yet, I knew I had to write. Inspiration is good, but never wait to be inspired because you may wait for a long time. Just keep showing up to do what you have determined to do. Consistency is how success comes. 3. I don't think necessity is the mother of invention. Invention arises directly from idleness, possibly also from laziness, to save oneself trouble. Agatha Christie Agatha Christie, an autobiography. Someone said that if you can't think, it will stink. Although the above quote may seem to promote laziness, yet great inventions came from in-depth thinking, and thinking itself is hard work. I know, if we really don't want to do something, we can always think through other ways by which we can do it. In fact, one of the hallmarks of diligence is that you learn to find other creative ways to get something done so it becomes easier to get it done. It's not hard work to keep doing the same thing the same way. Sometimes we get so comfortable using a particular method for getting something done. That in itself is laziness because we are unwilling to think of other ways to get that thing done. 4. Folks who never do any more than they get paid for never get paid for any more than they do. Albert Hubbard Someone once said to me that if all you do is what others on the street can do, it's no one that people don't demand for you. If all you do is what you're paid to do and you never do more, you will not get much that way. One of the things I strive to do for my clients is to add some extra to whatever job I do for them. And this is what happens afterward. They love it and either give me a referral or hand me more jobs. This is what I have found. If you give an extra in your job, you will always get extra. You will always get what you give in life. 5. A life of leisure and a life of laziness are two things. They will be slipping enough in the grave. Benjamin Franklin If you don't work hard, you don't deserve a break. I know there are a lot of opportunities for entertainment in today's age. That is where the problem is. You can be so focused on entertainment, you miss a life of success because no matter how much you view it, you can never eat your cake and have it. This is my perspective about leisure. Leisure is a reward for hard work, but most young people price leisure above hard work. Recently in my country, 
Young people have this penchant for loving to hit parties, throwing lots and lots of money around. They want to look rich, but are really not rich. Here's the thing, I do not think you deserve a break if you cannot count a credible milestone you have reached in a week. Work as hard as you would want to have leisure. Work so hard that, when you eventually start to have leisure, you're still making enough money, even in leisure. That's what I call a life where your life comes on autopilot. You cease to worry about money, because you have done the hard work to make money work for you. Until then, I wonder what most young people are doing, burying their heads in entertainment. I hope this video helped you. Subscribe to this channel to watch more interesting videos like this. We love you.